Hey yo, everybody, it's Johnny Five Alive here, and welcome back to some more Dragon Quest Builders 2. Alright, let's dive right on into things. Time to ring that bell. Level 4, here we come. Zooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooo
He is good, kind man, of the people. But more than that, he is a symbol of Moonbrook. He deserves a throne room, befitting his status. I thought he had one. We must do away with the awful disfigured throne and replace it with something more magnificent. The room itself could do with a good piece of... A good piece of larger, too. Which brings me to my request. I have for you to repair the throne and build an enormous throne room within to place it. The largest royal hall ever seen. <laughs> then simply add four gold, bold banners, the brace of bazers, and same ch in the same chamber, and voila, it's your majesty's new throne. Enormous, eh? What is this? This is large. Oh, well, that's not the throne room. Okay, it's already enormous. But we need to uh, do away with that. Get a new throne. So we already have the enormous size, which is good. We need... What do you say, a couple? We could do four. Never hurts to overdo it. There's the uh, shiny new throne. And some banners. Might as well make some of these ones, too. It's not requested, but... Eh. Wonderful. Plop that guy down. Is there any way where to put these guys? Can't place it on a pillar? Quite alright. It's Dragon Quest Builders after all. We could just add a spot for them. Aha! Actually, no. It's a bit fancier. Ooh la la. Let's get rid of these spikes. I don't want the king falling and hurting himself. And a couple out here. Appreciate me! Ah! <laughs> Oh, we don't even need these hearts anymore, honestly. We're already capped out. And I think back on the island, I have like 20,000. Hopefully, like, you require a lot of hearts to unlock everything in this game. Because I, I feel like it's too easy to acquire them. Anyways, that looks very nice. You got Johnny, this may be the finest throne room I've ever seen. Finally, our king has a chamber befitting his might and maj majesty. Ho <laughs> ho! Oh, what have we here? A marvelous creation indeed, young Johnny. Uh, verily, our mission is not merely the matter of winning a war, but building a nation. This noble chamber will inspire me to similar nobility in the, my dealings with the common folk and lend my words to the royal authority they deserve. It seems your work has pleases his majesty, Johnny. Now, I wonder if you could speak if I can speak to you about Malroth, mm. your friend fights like a wild beast on the battlefield. He might, his might is unquestionable, but it is terrifying to behold. I am not the only one who feels this way. Many of my fellow soldiers feel the same way, uh, seem, feel the same fear when they fight alongside him. His ferocity may win battles, but it is losing hearts and minds. I know he is your friend, and it may hurt you to hear this, but there is something to miss him about that man something different <laughs> yeah 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 everyone's just talking crap about Malroth we get it 
Lord of the Destruction, yada yada yada. It's gonna kill us all. Um, we are so close to victory, I can almost taste it, Johnny. All we need to do now is defeat the Scarforce. We must begin preparations for our impending celebrations. Well, what do you mean, it's too early for that? What exactly would you suggest waiting until after we've won be to begin planning the victory party? By that time, it'd be too late. When I was a child, I saw a fireworks show, and I was in, uh, in, enraptured. I was just a, my dear boy. I was. I was. I just want my grand. I just want my dear granddaughter to be able to enjoy that same wonder. Which is why you must build three firework cannons and set them up on the castle walls, so the moment we win this war, we may light up the skies in celebration. Ooh, this is cool. Yay! Firework cannons! Oh man, I wonder if we can color them. That would be amazing. Oh look, our glass is done. Let's put some more iron in the, the cooker. So let's just go backwards because we have infinite. Wanna cook all our steel. You know what? I think I could use the keyboard for this. Yeah, having a keyboard on hand is good. Alright. What was I doing? Fireworks. You said three. I wanna make like 80 of these. Up, 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 up. Hey, I didn't mean to talk to you. Go away. Mm -hmm. Well, how big are these cannons? Wow. Oh, that's epic. Wait, I gotta load them? Oh, with these things. What? Huh? Wait a second. Did I place that wrong? Oh. That's kind of weird. On the ledge like that. Are you going to come... <laughs> You're a little too old to be climbing up ladders. Ah, so you placed the firework cannons. Well done. Very well indeed. Now our victory party can go off with a bang, and my dear Esther can experience the marvel of a good fireworks display. I believe it is only a matter of time before we win this war, but it would seem that some among us still doubt our ability to defeat the foul foe. Still, it is to be expected, I suppose. Uh, we of Moonbrook have been fighting this war for many a century. No one remembers what it would begin or why. Little wonder than... Little wonder than that people find it hard to believe it will ever end. It is a part of our daily lives. It is part of our very selves. And yet, ending this war is the right thing to do. I know it. We must defeat the monsters, whatever it takes. Indeed. Uh, what's up? The scars, the scare force will soon be upon us, Johnny, and their scouts barely flinched at our existing defenses. Uh, if we need, mean to defeat them, we must strengthen our defenses further and devise another magical weapon with which to stymie their assault. To do that, we must once again set out and learn their weakness. Indeed, but before that, let us begin by laying out another blueprint for our future fortifications. Oh boy. <clears throat> Remember to leave space in your plan for a new magical weapon, one specifically designed to stop the Scare Force in their tracks. This is really cool, because usually at the end of every act, the, the townspeople get together to build one epic creation. They gather the materials. Now it's like they're doing three epic creations, but you gain all the materials. Um, certainly a lot of NPC building going about here. Anti-Scare Force fortification blueprint. 
So we're just basically raising the walls on everything. Well, well, well. It's another triumph. Johnny, uh, even the unstoppable soldiers of the Scare Force should have difficulty in negotiating that gauntlet. And once you have to place the magical weapons where the question marks are, it'll hopefully be all impassable to them. I have a piece of information that may serve you well against the Scare Force. If you're... If you are of a mind to hear it. But first, I bid you to fill the chest with materials needed to complete the blueprint. That way, we can begin work on its completion in your stead. Meanwhile, we, we must definitely... Oh, meanwhile, we must identify the enemy's weakness and invent a magical weapon with which to exploit. Come. Johnny, let us begin. Okay, let's get the chest going. Do we have one on us? The treasure chest. I don't think that works. Where did I put the old one? I thought it was over here. Uh, I must have put it in one of the rooms at some point. Why aren't they fixing these walls? Just make a new one. Let's clear up this bar. Get some breakfast in us. You know what? Let's rest until daytime as well. Looks like we need a bigger uh, barracks. Mm. Uh, I don't think I need this Yidrasel or this on my bar. Okay. First things first. Where's my chest? Might not hurt to put some extras in there, because maybe that will help them with the repairs. I'm not sure. It's <laughs> a lot of pieces. Actually, I'm going to put an extra 200 in there. Let's see if this helps with them or pairs. And we might as well put some extras of these. Look at that badass sword. That's it. Oh, we might need some magical stuff. Yes, get those brewing. I might as well wait for it. It cooks five at a time, I think. All right, let's just plop this down over here. Should just use the stow command. Get to work, everybody! Alright, let's let's hear about your intel. Look at this guy. He's a freaking monkey. Hey, slow down there, old man. During my time among the monsters, I learned from the great... Sorry, I mean a great treasure that lies hidden away in this place they call the Freezing Fortress. Well, I'm always up for a treasure hunt, Johnny. Plus, I'm sick of being cooped up in this castle all the time, aren't you? 
From what I gather, it is an artifact of immense power, mayhap uh, the ideal material from which to fashion a magical weapon. Uh, if, if you will permit me, I'd like to join you on your expedition this time, Johnny. There is something I'd like you to see for myself. Is that so? Well, if you insist, I shall remain in the castle and oversee the construction work. Gotta speed, you all. To reach the freezing fortress, head east from the ruins of Munahan until you come to the sea, then follow the coast to the south. Fierce snowstorms are said to harry the path to the tower. I suggest you proceed with due caution. I also forgot to collect those bomb materials in between episodes, but I should definitely grab another 20 or so so we can make some more bombs. Oh, and don't forget to fill the chest with the material. Yes, we did that. We're good. All right, let's see where we uh, can't check the map when you're inside of a blueprint. Let's see where we're going. Oh, that's not too far at all. There are bombs up there, so we can grab a few more of those. Are we stocked on food? Oh, you know what? Let's see if those medicinal herbs have grown again. Oh my god, this place is a freaking maze. This is why I did not want to put a roof on it. I'd never find my way through here. Super duper herb. Six healing pouches. Munahan. All right. Well, first things first. Picking up cotton. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, get out of my way. I can't switch my weapons. Uh, one thing I noticed in the Isle of Awakening, you can assign more party members to your team, up to, I think, three, so making, including yourself, a, a party of four. And you can also remove party members, but I was unable to remove Malroth from the team. But when I'm able to eventually, it's going to be so nice because when you're trying to build and say you're just like in your town, you're building, you're like, oh, I need to quickly switch my weapon. Oh, Malroth's in the way. Now you're talking to him. And I have done that like literally a thousand times. It just drives me nuts. Um, a nice little workaround if you haven't finished the game yourself and you're like really annoyed with Malroth getting in the way. Uh, what you can do is actually just launch a multiplayer session. And in multiplayer, Malroth is not... Uh, on your team. You're, he's replaced, I mean, he's still around, but he's not following you. Instead, it's your friends. So, when you're actually building, I find it actually, it, it works better to go into online mode, simply because Malroth doesn't get in the way. But once we finish the story here, uh, eventually we should be able to remove him from the party entirely and just run around solo, which would definitely be helpful in terms of uh, him not getting in our way. Alright, I just want to get a few of these rocky rocks so we can craft some more of those bombs for the next wave because they were very effective. I don't know how effective they'll be against the robots, but we also need to craft more swords. So, not everybody has a fire sword. They're pretty expensive to make though. But the more, the merrier. Forty-two damage with a s small swing. Um, so there's also these uh, big bad bosses all over the world. Uh, whether they be the little islands, like the Explorer Shores, 
the different places you go to to uh, gather materials. There's always a boss, and when you kill those bosses, you get rare recipes, like new armor, new weapons, all sorts of stuff. I have not really sought them all out yet, but... Oh, that was close. Uh, I tend to go back and kill all the world bosses when I'm able to do a party of four. So as soon as I can invite four worthy soldiers into my arsenal, I'm going to go back and kill the world bosses, just so it goes faster. Like, there's a lot of easier ones that I can kill right now, but it's just boring. It takes, you know, they have so much health, you're just swinging away for hours. So, I got to go back to Act 1, Act 2, Act 3, I got to come back to all these places. I did notice we saw some dragons about this area, and yeah, like, it would be so much easier to come back and kill these things. Once we have a party of four. Oh, this one might go off in our face if we're not careful. Uh, there's also a lot of hidden puzzles on all these maps, which I have to come back and solve so we can get those uh, adventurer coins, which will allow us to unlock new tools and abilities. So, yeah, even when we finish the game here, which, you know, we're coming up on uh, at the end of Act 3... Is, I'm assuming the end of it because if we look at the crafting table back on the Isle of Awakening, there's only three pieces to the pie, so this would be the final chapter. But I would imagine there'd be some post-game content coming up, you know, some some sort of like summary to the whole story. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me something maybe on the Isle of Awakening, or maybe they send us somewhere else like they did with Scalcatraz. Because, uh, yeah, there's got to be some sort of conclusion with the Lord of Destruction and myself as the Builder. So I'm assuming it's not going to be over, over once we finish Act 3. Maybe a little bit of extended story after that. And once we're done that, it's just, like, completionism. G getting, running around, getting all those collectibles, killing all the world bosses, getting all the recipes unlocked. Uh, check lock, ch checklisting all the Explorer Shores islands. Um, and then farming materials, uh, going to the fishing island and getting all the fish uh, achievements and stuff. So there's plenty to do post-game content, which I think for the most part, it's just a lot of work. And if I were to do, like, I'm probably going to skip recording that stuff because I'll probably be playing for like five to ten hours just doing the completionism stuff. And it's going to be a lot easier for me to just focus up. There won't be much dialogue at all. So it'll really be just a lot of me farming. Which, it doesn't make for the most entertaining stuff. But, what will be entertaining is once I have all that, uh, what we what we decide to do with it. What we decide to build, uh, what kind of fun adventures we have um, on the Isle of Awakening. And so, we'll have like multiplayer post-game content, I would imagine. Because we've already gotten into the building and we're really excited to get back to it. And basically, I'm trying to push through the story right now. Because Synchros and Zelixor are waiting for me, and they're like, Hurry up and finish the game, man! <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm the last one to finish the game. Which is funny, because I was the furthest ahead at one point. So anyways, enough jabbering. We got 30 of those things. Let's continue the story here. Oh, hello there. I pop, pop, popped out of the freezing fortress and breath, breath, breath of fresh air. If, if you're looking for a four, four, four fortress, head, head, head down the hill to cross, cross the bridge and fall, fall, follow the path to the right. Careful, you don't get caught in the storm, though. The bl bl blizzard is up there so so strong that they blow, blow, blow you back and sap, sap, sap your strength. Even us ham, ham, hammerhoods can't survive in those storms. Only the thick, thick, thickest furred monsters can weather that kind of weather. Ah. So maybe if we uh, use our little thingamajig... To transform into a Yeti! This is a thicky furry. Oh, there's a lot of magic crystals here. I think I have enough on me, honestly. I think these Yetis should do the trick. Wait, where am I going? Am I crossing the bridge or going up the hill? I guess it doesn't hurt to cross the bridge. Really tempted to gather all those crystals. I can always come back. I think I have um, a surplus. Why can't I open my inventory? Oh, you can't use your inventory while you're a monster. Interesting. 
I wonder why that is. I love these yetis. I can't wait to capture some for my uh, northern land that I unlock. What's up, Hammy? If only I had thick, thick, thicker fur. Hello there, to travel. I'm trying to get acclimated to this fur for easy cold, 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 cold. Us hammerheads don't have the th thick, shaggy fur, so we don't, don't, don't do well in these big, big blizzards. If I spend this much time up here as possible, I'm b b bound to grow one sooner or later. Uh, but I'll be, b be able to make it all the way up to the freezing f fortress without f feely chilly. Now, I don't think you're going to grow a thicker fur. You might just die. <laughs> Yetis can do this. Blizzard ain't no match for me. Robots! Greetings, life form. Please confirm assertion. This island is crumbled in. Yes, no. No. Moonbrook, unexpected input. Recalculating. Dancing girl search procedure. <laughs> He's looking for Babs. Evaluation options. Relocation to alternate island. Suboptimal. Must find dancing girls on Moonbrook. Must find dancing girls on Moonbrook. You are life forms, dancing girls also life forms. Can you transform into dancing girls? Scanning, scanning. Ah, oh, we actually can. Interesting. So there was a use for this. Holy heck, we've turned into dancing girls. Let's go talk to that robot. <laughs> dancing girls located, operation success, overflow error and happiness management, <laughs> Goroteen. Greetings, Dancing Girls. Please accept my gift. He sprays us? <laughs> what? <laughs> Two Zaphires. Oh. Dancing Girls, beauty confirmed. Inspiration obtained. Hopes initialized. Dreams allocated. Thank you, Dancing Girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Thumbnail. All right. What are we? Ah, it's freezing. Yeti mode. That's not a yeti. Oh, come on. Wizards. This could take a while. I should just let you like hold the button down to select which one you want. Make so much more sense. Oh boy. There we go. No! Uh, it's like spamming the button and it just kind of like kept cycling. Where are we going? Yeah, these jump higher. I mean, it's actually cool if some of these transform uh, transformations had different abilities. I mean, the well, Yeti kind of does, but maybe like the Goobies jumped higher, things like that. The Hammer Smashy guys could all break blocks faster. Be neat. Big old trolley. What up, man? Actually, that might be a better screenshot. <laughs> oh. I know not you. I not know you. You new guards? 
Rumors say Trixie human transforms into monster and sneak around sneakily and like sneaks. If you see any friends acting funny, you tell me. <clears throat> That's if you survive to tell the tale. You so super puny, even puny humans could beat you. Gahahah. I'd rather be puny than pug ugly. Come on, you overgrown bogey. Out with it. Tell us what the Scare Force's biggest weakness is. Ah, Roth. Their weakness, no secret, their weakness, cold. That's why we guard super chilly treasure here for them to make sure no tricksy human find it. But why you ask weakness, me think very fishy. Me see who you really, oi. You, bring the shiny. Shriek, there, right away there. They got a mirror. By the devil, is that a... Right, oh. God, you tricksy humans. You try to trick me, tricksy tricksters. We see how tricksy you are when we smash you to itty bitty bats. Right, oh. Ah! Pipes. I think my character is slowed in this, the cold. It's like slippery or something. Oh, just taking a little nap. There's a super power tech when you need one. That wasn't too hard. Why did we bother with all that sneaking around in the first place? I suppose we did learn a thing. Uh, though somehow, they've got Ra's mirror. How the heck did they get their grubby monster mitts on that? You entrusted it to Anessa, didn't you, Johnny? Then my suspicions are true. Though it pains me to say it. The spy in Moonbrook Castle, the human among us whose allegiances lie with the monsters, it must be Anessa. I mean, it makes sense because she was so refusing to build. So, I kind of had a slight suspicion. I was like saying that all along. Like, oh, why she won't build? It must be her. But it also kind of seems strange. Uh, how else could the monsters have Ra's mirror in their position? She must have told them where she had it hidden, if she didn't simply hand it over to them herself. I had my doubts about Anessa for some time now. I volunteered to join you on this mission in hope of finding proof of her subterfuge. But she's the one at the back at home leading everybody. She could be sabotaging it while we're out here. Come on, let's take whatever troll has been guarding and return to the castle as quickly as we can. For the time being, I would ask that you do not confront Anessa about this, or, nor reveal the truth about to the townsfolk. Give me some time to formulate a plan. Yes. Crystals. Shiver shards. Uh, what are those things? Are they scare force really so terrified of a couple little crystals? They're a bit... There's a bit of chill emanating from them, and this troll did say the Scare Force were vulnerable to cold. Perhaps you could use them to make another magical weapon. I have a full confidence that you will think of a, something spectacular. Come on, let's return to the castle and complete the blueprint. So I thought it was going to be electricity, but apparently those robots are not the main force. Uh, crap contraption. A weapon of war interrupts the advance of invading foes with icy winds. Always with the winds. Alright, back home we go. Alright, looks like we might be able to defeat the Scare Force in this episode.
What is it? What? Out, out with it, old man. Ah, uh, Johnny, how did your mission go? Goo, I mean go. Did you learn the weakness of how, how we could exploit the, and defeat the Scar Force? Freeze them, solid ice emanating crack contraptions, you say? I take it they're to be placed on those question marks on the blueprint. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. We will get that all set up for you. Aha, I can almost hear the cogs turning within the builder's brain of yours. I sense another invention coming along. Well, when you have conjured up all you need to complete the blueprint, pray do so at the earliest opportunity. The Scout Force may attack at any moment. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yaha! Activator. Activates far away traps. Uh, try on an activator to set up traps from a distance. They work an absolute treat with crack contraptions. See, I don't know how, like, you hook the activators up. The NPCs have done it all for me. Seems a little bit strange. What? Oh, I need more pressure plates. Whew. Got scared for a second. And I need some of these guys. go all right Put those cook up um, just put the actuators in here this place is looking mighty fine love all the castle tops Climb up and take a look. The heck? Who broke the ladder? Is that actually a part of the blueprint? No, they need, they need ladder pieces. Oh. I never put them in. Hopefully it was just four. Two. Okay, let's see if our traps are done brewing. One. Oh, get some time to kill. Let's go to the kitchen. Any new crops? Oh yeah, didn't I get like a new hammer or something from Malrock? Can't remember. No. Defense plus 40. Plate armor. What is the defense of my current armor? 48. Oh, you can actually see what it looks like in the uh, inventory, of course. Oh. Well, there you go. Let's see what the old plate mail looked like. Um, why don't I have it on me anymore? Curious. 
Did I never craft plate mail? Oh, we should try it out here. Guess I didn't. Ooh. I might like the look of that better. Hmm, I like the blue. It's a little bit too cyan blue. Let's craft some of these herbs. Oh yeah, we have uh, bomby bombs that we can make. Another 50 should do it. Hmm. We'll brew some swords too. Two more. Actually, if I wait till daytime, they might be finished. <laughs> Nessa, you traitor. All right, let's get the swords going. Four more. It's not a lot, but it's something. Wait. Why didn't... I have more rock bomb shards, why can't I make more? Oh, you need steel broadswords. Eight. And any leftovers, we will make some bombs with. Now those fire swords, did the people actually use them? I guess I should have checked that first. They are. That's good. Why are they putting this stuff in here? Shouldn't it go in the blueprint chest? Oh, he's putting the trap in. Oh, crap. Hopefully that doesn't initiate the, uh... Battle. <sighs> okay. Still have time. <clears throat> I just wanted to put some broadswords and fire swords in the chest. So we did get new recruits. All these hearts. Now, one thing I do wish they'd do to this game, because I was saying that I have a surplus of hearts. Like, a surplus. Uh, back on the Isle of Awakening. Uh, I feel like they need to add more DLC. Um, but, pe like, wallet behind Appreciation Hearts. So, I know that they have some DLC, which I don't know how to unlock, by the way. I think you have to, like, actually fully beat the game before you actually get access to the, like, the modern pack and the different packs that the game has. Um, I guess that would make sense. Whoops. And, yeah, but I kind of wish, like, that stuff, you have to, like, earn it with appreciation hearts. Just to give you something to grind towards. And, like, they could easily add more DLC and just be like, yep, here's, a, like, a hundred new things. But they all cost a thousand appreciation hearts each. It just forces you to build, it forces you to play. And, uh, yeah. 
Why not? Okay, three swords are ready. I mean, I guess it's something. Oh, this one's actually almost done. Just wait for this. <clears throat> actually, wow, the recording's already at 50 minutes. I best get going on this. Well, we'll see what the next phase is. Hopefully it's the battle phase. Put these swords in here, see if they uh, come running over. Get your weapons, everybody. Mm, they're not doing it. They're all more concerned about going to the bathroom. Oh, there you go. He grabbed himself a fire sword. The king's guard gets himself a fire sword. It's amazing. Love the AI in this game. Just let everybody get themselves a weapon before I... Ah, whatever. Excellent work, Johnny. Those crack contraptions finish the blueprint off rather nicely. I trust they will do the same for our foes. However, I fear the Scare Force will not be the last enemy we have to face. There are more of them out there. I feel it. We may never win this war, but we can still fight together. Hey, Johnny, do you really think she's in league with the... Is everything quite all right, you two? I would rather you... I'd rather you look at me... I would rather you not look at me so it can't. If there's something you want to say, just come out and say it. Hold on. I think I feel something. What in the world was that? They're here, and they did not get their weapons. But that's fine, I can just grab some. The King's God. I believe that's everyone, other than the healers, maybe. Which are standing on the freaking roof, which I can't reach. Okay, they look like they self-equipped themselves. Oh, no! That guy had a fire weapon. Yeah, I think we're good. Um, you know what? I know it's a bit of a lackluster episode. What? We uh, only found out the secrets of the enemy. What else did we do? Actually, didn't we build? We build the throne room, and then. Yeah, we didn't do a whole lot this episode, did we? But, we made progress. Uh, I think I'm going to save the big battle for the next video, the next episode, simply because I know there's going to be a lot of post-game stuff. If it really is the final boss, there's going to be all the conversations that we have before we go back to the Isle of Awakening. And if it's not the last boss, I'm sure something's going to happen to Malroth, and it's going to trigger a whole new sequence. So that episode should just be jam-packed front to back. Uh, might as well make a whole episode out of it and see where it takes us. So I think we'll start the next uh, video off with the starting right into the things with the Scare Force. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end things off here. Thank you guys so much for watching and liking and dropping your comments. Really do appreciate all the comments, you guys. And uh, thanks again for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next episode when we go to defeat the Scarf Force. All right, everyone. I'll see you then. Bye now.